Hello. Welcome. Welcome. All right, so I'm looking for somebody that knows a lot about vaults in this game. Do you know anybody by any chance? Um, I mean, Fallout's pretty good. All right, right. I'll, I'll hit him up next. Okay. Uh, do you know anything about grading then? Anything about grading? Yes. Have you heard of this thing called PSA? Yes. I'm I'm well in tune with All right, PSA. Well, well, I'm trying to get a PSA grading on on a few items in here. I was wondering if you uh if you could check it out. Check out the catalog. Okay. okay. So you want you literally just want me to grade your vault? Yes. So you you know how you just cause nothing but pain and misery to everybody every time you do something with the vault. It, I'll, um, I'll... <laughs> I don't cause the pain. People cause the pain to themselves, and I point it out. Fair. All right. Let's let's just say traumatic experiences. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So I want you to just crank that to a hundred and go full elitist on my vault and grade it based on a PSA scale. Okay. What are the criteria? Like how prepared you are. Like variety of weapons. Uh, least amount of cope. Like, I would say what... in term, I th I would say quality is the first top factor, and then whatever else you can just de decide on your own. I'll leave it up to you. Okay. Well, I mean, I feel like it's gonna be tough to like take points away from you for really pretty much anything because you, I mean, you have one of the most hours of anyone that I know on this game, so I don't really know like. All right, start tabbing through. Let me let me see. All right, see. here we go. Yeah, because you have like every crafted weapon and all of the mass worked and all of your exotics. I assume have all the catalysts, and you don't really have like a bajillion dupes of anything. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Um, all right, I mean we got some dupes here, but I'm not gonna. Okay, that is. <laughs> we'll that, get to that. We'll get that to that. That needs some addressing. Um. Yeah, I mean, like, not too many exotic dupes or anything like that. You have a good stash of materials ready to go, even though they're slowly being ripped out of the game. Um, you know, okay, a couple dupes here and there is, like, not too bad for, you know, a person of your caliber based on everything that you do. Um, See, this is where the grading aspect comes in, because how many people can you say have callus tokens in their vault? Yeah, well, I, I don't know if I count callus tokens as like a plus or a minus i i think i would count them more at a minus if you were at like 600 out of 600 but like you have all of these items and they're all mass worked and like you're pretty well prepared and you don't have any dupes and you still also have 100 slots in your vault so it's like you're it's not even like you are experiencing any sort of pressure to you know clean things out or get more organized like you are as organized as i feel like you could possibly be I guess it's your job to find any any faults in this collection i suppose yeah i mean without like literally digging through every single weapon which i'm not going to do the only thing that i would really want to look at is like anything where you have i would say three dupes or more and just find out specifically why you have three or more because like two i totally get it three it's like okay starting to push it and then once we hit four plus it's like you you got to be doing something specific to have four right. of the same copy of a weapon i feel like um, my rockets are being called out so i do want to point those out because you have nine of them and you can only use one of them at a time so For i now. need to know why you have nine of them w what if i told you that there are nine different situations that you could use these rockets in. I Here's the thing, is that I believe you, because I understand the intricacy of, you know, raid DPS. There are so many different scenarios and so many different metas that can pop up that justify each individual role just completely based on what the encounter ends up being, right? Um, so I understand. That being said... I mean, I don't even like. You still have you still have a hundred spots. Like, I can't even be like, you need to delete some of these because it's like you you really don't like it's you specifically. Somebody else, I'd be like, you should delete these. But knowing you, it's like yes, 
all of those have opportunities to become something like meta defining essentially um but to most other people who are not at literally just the cutting cutting edge you're at the cutting edge of the cutting edge i would tell people don't do this t so like part of it is the rocket is so ridiculously hard to get as is and then right. it's kind of it's almost like like a badge of honor that i have every possible situational role available to me and that's mm -hmm. kind of where the quality part comes in yeah no like i totally understand like we, we like we got a dungeon coming up next season in less than a week uh and then whatever like the new raid is yes could any one of these rockets become the meta rocket absolutely do i personally think it's going to completely make or break an experience absolutely not but when you want to be doing literally the maximum possible i get it and again if you were at five or 600 out of 600 and all your characters are full and all of your postmasters were full i would just be like it's time to give up a couple of these but i don't i don't even have that wiggle room you know maybe on the bray techs like what are we keeping in some of the bray techs all right bray tech we got uh envious bipod okay and we got cluster bomb lasting that's the only okay. combo for those in the game i think yeah and then envious lasting and then envious lasting okay this one's interesting yeah. specifically because uh, that artifact mod that's coming, that you do more damage yeah. the longer you Ar fire. Arch and Ordnance. Yeah. yeah. And it has 23 kills. That's a lot for rockets. Yeah. But also, like, are you going to need that for a dungeon? No, you're not. You're not going to need that for a dungeon. Now, maybe for one of your, like, you know, uh, one phasing a dungeon boss, sure, that might come in handy. For everybody else who is not trying to do some of that ridiculous stuff, uh, they do not need those things. Absolutely not. I mean, like, I don't know. Flip flip back. Go back a couple pages. Like, I see a few, um, what was it? Cataphracts. I'm seeing some threes, you know, here and there. I'm seeing three uh, storms. I'm seeing three Wendigos. I'm seeing three of the, the Crucible rocket that the name escapes me right now. Um, blowout. You have, yeah, blowout. Um, you have two non-crafted... Uh, uh, other halves at the top yeah so one of these is it has surrounded or is uh -huh. it surrounded one of these is like you can't get this rule anymore like it's okay. not in the I, game that's anymore. what i figured it was yeah i just i don't have the perks memorized so i couldn't tell you um so like that's fine and then like the storms i assume are all like different variants of like clown yeah. cartridge firing line and auto loading and yeah I mean, I don't know. Rapid hit friends. I don't like Vorpal anymore, really. Like, I, I just think so, Vorpal is kind of cringe at this point. But I, I would agree. Vorpal 99% of the time is garbage. The only reason I have this is for, like, solo play where I can't use Firing Line. And Vorpal's like an yeah. instant damage buff. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, You got three Hotheads. But, again, there's also a lot of variance in, in what Hotheads are appropriate to use. Um... I'm seeing three loaded questions. I don't know how many of those we really need. I'm guessing a different combination of Reservoir Burst and Overflow and Controlled Burst and Envious Assassin and blah, 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 blue. I have a bunch of those as well. Um, how many do you have? I, I I just did a bunch of cleaning, so I don't know how many of them I still have. I think I, I, think I ended up tossing uh, most of them out. Let me see. Plug uh oh turns out i kept none of them except one that has feeding frenzy reservoir burst for some reason i'm gonna delete that literally as soon as i get back in game yeah i think i just kept like aramite and i had techie and force so i was like i don't really need a third fusion that i am is just gonna sit you know it's just gonna sit there the only time i would need it is because of some sort of elemental decision that i needed to make but even then like oh no i use techie and force instead like mm -hmm. whoop de doo um so like realistically do you need all three no but again you're not in a spot where i think you're you're in any sort of pressure to be deleting anything um same with the phylos uh and then yeah i mean yeah the first and last outs i mean two okay you have three 
auto loading for. I do, but these are really hard to get. That that that's my claim to these. One is a thousand kills, and they're also hard to get. I just have I have a thing where I don't necessarily want to go into dim every time I switch characters. So sometimes uh -huh. I'll just put a gun on each character so that it's always there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do that. No, no that's I, I don't even do that. I literally just play with the guns that like literally people ask like, why are you using that gun? I was like, it was on my character. and I didn't want to switch. But first in last out is so like that's a really specific weapon. You know, that's not like an everyday like oh, I'm using my Iclos SMG like that requires a really specific thing that you want to do. Right, but that that's where this comes in as it's not only a vault full of like stuff I'd use, but also stuff that's rare in the game. Right? Because like, if you want to go to Banshee right now and try to get a Philo, your chances are worse than trying to win the lottery right now. I just don't know how many extra points I'm giving for you having like three of them when you don't need three of them. You know what I mean? All right, that's fair. That's fair. So okay, yeah, so you here's only the question. need one. You only got two arms. Well, hey, you know what? Never mind. Let's keep going. Uh, here's a question for you. Out of uh -huh. all the vaults you've done, how many of the people have had their vault, like, just masterworked entirely? Uh, quite a few. I know a lot of people who do love... I mean, maybe not literally every single weapon in their vault, but, like, they will do the overwhelming majority of them. But there, I mean, I've there's so many people that I've done vault cleanings with that they will just instantly masterwork something throw it into their vault and never touch it again and yeah, that, like that sounds right does it really matter when like most of them have a bajillion cores no it's just kind of like the principle of the thing um I, I couldn't tell you how many vaults i've looked at where every single item that could be masterworked was masterworked i'm sure some people have gotten really close um but maybe not right. literally every single item Oh, I mean, on the bright side, I will say that I do not own 23 mind benders. That's a, that's a plus, right? Yeah, that's good. That's good. I guess my um, one sore spot is uh, I things that I cannot masterwork out of my control, like, uh, where, where is it, like, Winter's Bite. That doesn't have a catalyst. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, like, obviously, you know, can't take points off for something that is impossible, literally impossible to masterwork, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, if, I, if, if, I'm, if you want me to be ruthless on this, I'm going to question everything. Yep, yep. Um, that is not one thing I'm going to question, though, because you literally can't. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, the, there's not really any faults. You, you're you well prepared. You have some rare stuff. Everything's masterworked. Everything's ready to go. You got some dupes. Some of them more forgivable than others, I will say. Um, but, like, y you still have plenty of space. You have plenty of materials. So, I mean, if I'm going to nitpick, like, would it be technically perfect 10 out of 10? No, but would it be the closest vault that I've seen to what would be a 10 out of 10? Yeah, it would be. If I'm, like, super giga nitpicking. All right, how much, it, how much would, would uh, the armor in this factor in, in the overall scoring? Um... I mean, without looking at every individual item, like, it, it doesn't look like you have a ton of, like, you know, legendaries. Like, you have some here and there scattered throughout. I think that's fine. Um, you don't really have that many exotic dupes. You know, one here, one here, one here. That's fine. Um, so I think I would have to just see the quality of the items, but I know you keep a high quality of items and I know you farm armor and all this kind of stuff. So without going through every single item, like it looks, it, it looks fine to me. And especially you as a content creator where you're, you know, you, you, you just got to keep one of every exotic in just in case, you know, Oh, you know buff truth. come in, make it, make some content, blah, blah, blah. So most people do not need to keep one of every exotic. I will say I I think I have a leg up on anybody else, just not in having like good armor, but also I have a couple pieces that are for, like for example, uh, what is this? Uh, seventy one base Geomax, for example. Mm -hmm. Like how many people do you know that have seventy ones on their account at all? Not not a whole hell of a lot. I think I have like two seventies or something like that. Are they any good? Um, I think one of them's the Zer Crown of Tempest. <laughs> all right, fair uh, enough. So that one's. 
That one's good. Um, the other ones, I couldn't tell you. Is there a way to search by like how many stats? Uh, not that I know of. Um, I'll figure it out later. Yeah. So I mean, not many. I you know I got some 68s, 69s, a couple 70s. I think I've I've definitely deleted 70s just because their stat roll was absolutely awful. Um, I don't know if I've even I think seen that's a crime 71 somewhere. though. What deleting a 70 because the yes. stat rolls awful? I don't give a shit. I'll delete that all see, day. That, see that that's an elite fake right there. That seventy would, would could be somebody's treasure. I don't know. I, I don't care. I can't give it to them. Can't I'd you can't you think this, about the collectors out there? I look. I love collecting. Okay, but I've gotten to the point where if I'm going to collect stuff, it's got to be top of the top, and I would rather hang on to and use like a sixty three uh, that's well distributed as opposed to a 70 that has 26 mobility and 13 intellect on a on an effing Kepri's horn titan helmet. Yeah, that but brings can't you no value to me. can't you technically say that a 70 is the top of the top cuz that's the maximum you can get? Yes, but it's but the distribution also matters. It's twofold. That's fair. You know, it's not just enough that it has a big number. Like, the big number has to mean something. All right, here's a question. What's the highest nothing manacles you've ever seen? Oh, Jesus. I have no idea. All right, the answer that was is... probably like 59, because the high rolls of this exotic do not exist, ever. That That is not something I keep track of. Let me see. Um... That's the real data we need. Who needs population oh, numbers? I don't even know where my nothing manacles are. I have a 62. That's what I have on me right now. Massive. That's oh, it's, it's I have a good one distribution. point higher. It's a good distribution. Um, but uh, yeah, just a 62. I'm surprised you kept the 62. Honestly, I thought you would have well, been because it's. I, I mean, I don't get a lot of nothing manacles, so I whenever I get like I start to get a bunch of exotics, I'll go through and I'll do my like. Okay, what are the rolls that I have? What are the good ones? And nothing manacles. I don't get a lot of them. And if I kept my 62, I kept it for a reason. Again, it's got it's got no extra mobility, no extra intellect, so it's all good stats. So I don't mind that too much. Um, but that is, I, if that's the best one I got, I kept it because it's the best one I've ever gotten. But right now it is 1600. It has one energy in it, which means I have not touched them in God knows how long. You know, it's funny. Somebody once told me, if it's 1600 and you haven't touched it in a long time, why is it in your vault? Well, exotics once? are on a different rule uh, set. Ah, all right. Yes. Uh, legendary <laughs> armor, that is, legendary armor drops everywhere. Exotics don't drop everywhere, nor do they have uh, decent stat rolls all the time. Plus content creator rule, uh, I let everyone, you know, hold one of each exotic as a content creator. Uh, but most people, again, do not need to do that. Although I understand if you, as a, you know, casual player, want to keep one of every exotic just for convenience sake. Streamers get special rules. You heard them. They do because we make look the 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 regular Joe and the regular Jane do not need to make videos. Therefore, they do not need to have certain things on tap ready to go at a moment's notice. All right. Next thing. Oh, I guess I guess the overall uh, conclusion here is on the grading scale. You yeah. got your uh, you got your um, your centering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your your, you your corners cor of the vault. You got your corners. You got your edges, and you got your surface. Yeah. Well, what are we what are we looking at for these four categories? Um, I don't know how we translate those into like <laughs> vault based things. Well, I, I guess what... I guess cornering would be like master working. Here, let, let, let me let me write down some criteria here real quick, real quick. All right. So let's say cleanliness is is one. Okay. How clean is your vault? Um, quality of items within. Uh, that's another one. Uh, masterwork. Sure, maybe we'll say another. That's another one. Um, I guess armor. Uh, weapons can be a category, and armor can be a category. Okay. Um, so I mean, I, I for you literally, I think the only thing that I would mark slightly down on 
is cleanliness, and it, if it is, it would be like a 10 to a 9.9, .9 just because of some random dupes here and there that I personally don't think you need. But, you know, it, how much can I really argue when you still have 100 spaces in there? Like, armor quality is obviously going to be a 10. Weapons, you have a bajillion crafted weapons, and they're all masterworked. The quality of all the items within, you know, crafted god rolls, those are all good as well. Um, so if I if I was going to give a markdown on anything, and this is just the most nitpicky thing in the world, it would be cleanliness, and it would be like a 9.9 .9 or a 9.8. Okay, what if I told you that I also have a recluse that has 69.420 on it? Um, I don't know where that really fits in the category. Maybe like novelty, like a novelty category, um, or like sun uh, sunset items. I don't know where this factors into the grid. Well, I tried. So does this get does this overall get me the 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 BGS black label? Is is what I'm asking. I mean, four tens and a nine point nine. I feel like I I I feel like that is well within black label territory, unless. You know, literally, I mean, I understand for a black label, everything does need to be a 10. Um, but considering I don't have, uh, I, I have a much finer scale, um, I would be willing to bestow the black label. Yeah, it probably on, costs uh, less the gray too. Vault. Yes. All right, this great, I'll take it. What, one of the highest quality vaults that I think one could have, again, without literally digging through every single weapon and justifying every single thing in here, because otherwise we'll be here all day. Um, but yes, a very high quality vault that people can aspire to and also having space to boot. So for the future hoarders out there that might be listening to this, what what would be your minimum criteria for, to having a decent uh, graded vault? You know, something like getting at least a, uh, let's say, let's say a, an eight. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd say like I, I tend to give points for cleanliness a lot more. I tend to weigh that a lot more. So that's reducing dupes, reducing, uh, you know, just just clutter. Like, we don't want to have a lot of clutter. I want to see, you know, nice, neat, organized. I don't want to see a lot of dupes. Um, quality of items within, sure, if you don't have a lot of dupes, you're getting points for cleanliness. But the items themselves are, like, not very good. So how clean is our vault, really, if we're holding on to low-quality items, right? Um masterwork i i don't i don't judge too harshly on masterwork like if you want to masterwork some some of more, your most commonly used stuff that that's a good thing um but i'm not really a huge stickler for like why isn't this masterwork like you'll get around to it and it's not that big of a deal at the end of the day and then weapons and armor i guess i don't know uh quality of items feels like weapons and armor like should be combined within that like maybe we do quality of weapons and then quality of armor and then masterwork or something like that so there's only four categories um but yeah weapons and armor would just kind of go with quality of items how much junk are you hoarding or holding on to really um yeah we want to minimize the you know minimize the bad maximize the good um, so it's, yeah, it's just, it's not that deep, you know, it's really not that deep. It's just keep, keep the stuff you're using, keep the stuff you like, keep the good stuff. And then anything you're not trash it. It's not that big of a deal. I ask every time I do a vault cleaning, I ask people in the middle of the vault cleaning, name some stuff we deleted and no one ever remembers because it's not special. The stuff we delete is not special. It's not memorable. You're never going to remember it. So just get rid of it unless it's just one of those kind of items, you know, one of those novelty items from the past or a sunset weapon or something that means a lot to you. Um, you know, that's, that's you sure. Keep that stuff. The rest of it. It's not that deep of a game. It's really not that deep. You can get rid of a lot of stuff. You're going to be totally okay. You heard him, Chad. That's the, uh, that's the Dado grading system. I'm sure he has, he's going to have some black Friday sales left over, you know, 25% off. Go Dado. Cyber Monday account. tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. Still going. Well, thanks for joining. Uh, and I was going to say roasting my vault, but I guess grading my vault is a better choice here. Yeah, I, you don't have anything to roast. Like, you are the, in, in terms of, like, quality of items, you are probably one of the least roastable uh, people when it comes to the items that you have on your account. I you know, know it, you. It, it used to be a little bad. A little bad until I got ambushed one day in the tower. Then everything yeah. changed. Then the Fire yeah. Nation attacked. 
Yeah, and now look at you. You're sharp, you're clean, focused. I'm reformed. Dialed in. Now, please uh, reform Fallout, because his vault and Postmaster are disgusting every time I watch a stream. Yeah, I need. To, I, I talked to him recently about doing one, but I, I uploaded a few to the channel, and I was kind of like, all right, people are kind of over it, so we might save it towards the end of Season 23. But yeah, I don't know how he lives. Any final words on, uh, on this experience? No. I mean, it'd be, it, I don't know, it'd be fun to, like, roast people's vaults, but I feel like it, it's much more, I feel like to roast someone's vault, they need to be confident in how good it actually is, and most people should know that their vaults are trash, and that they need to remove a lot of items from them. You see, now, it, we definitely gotta ambush somebody one day and be like, who has the best vault? Like, just make, just make a Twitter post and be like, Who's the most confident content creator who thinks they have the best vault? And then just yeah, just knock him down a peg, you know? Yeah. I'd need a much more refined grading uh, scheme before I do that, but yeah. Yeah, get back in the lab, you know? Yeah. All right, well, thanks for joining, dude. Much appreciated. All right, GG's, dude. Take it easy. Take care.